Welcome to yet another tutorial on Google Forms. This time we have come up with a guide on how you can embed Google Forms in an email. It's going to be a quick walkthrough, so let's get started. I have opened Google Forms and selected my history quiz form that I want to share in email. As you can see my quiz has already been created with all the questions and answers and configurations. Now, to share the form we have to click on the send button and the send form dialog box is popped open. There are different ways to share Google Forms via email, links, HTML code, and social media platforms. However, we have to share Google Forms through emails. So, what I do is that I add the email address of the participant with whom I sharing this quiz. The subject is mentioned, and you can add a personalized message. Now to embed Google Forms in an email, I take the include form in an email option. This will show the overall quiz in the email body itself. Then, I send it. I proceed to Gmail and navigate to the history quiz email I've received. When I open it as you can see whole Google Forms is attached to the email to be filled out. I can either fill it in the email itself and submit, or I click on the fill out in Google Forms button to move to Google Forms and fill it there. Once I submit the form, in the responses tab you can see the summary of the responses received. Here I moved one step further and linked the forms with the sheet. As you can see here, all the responses will be automatically added to the Google Sheet after you connect it with the forms. You can also get email notifications for each new response. We have another way for you to share custom email invites with Google Forms. Go to More Get Add-ons, search for Extend Ed Forms, install the app and sign in with your Google account. Once I have done that, I go to add-ons, click on extend ed forms, then configure and its settings box will appear. I connected to it. There was some attention needed as you can see on the screen. I just clicked on fixed settings and it was good to go. First was the share form option. I can choose from any to share form through a drop down list. I set the time limit for the quiz, restricted attempts, and auto submit options were enabled, and then saved it. To send Google Forms through email via custom invitation, I click on the invite button at the bottom. It directly leads to the extended forms dashboard and opens the invitation dialog box. I've added the email address to share the form with, and you can through the invitation message button also add a personalized message. After sending the invitation, under the pending invitations column I can see the recent invite that has yet to be accepted. Besides if I'm in the main settings, I can also share an invite by clicking the invite button. Now navigating to Gmail again. When we share the Google Forms through extended forms invitation, you get this type of email invite, where the whole Google Forms will not be shown but there will be a CTA button that directly leads to the welcome screen and from there the quiz starts. Here is a preview of it. Once you open Google Forms and even submit the form, the pending invitations column will be blank. But under the responses column, I can see the submitted quiz. Further, I can view response and view report. When I click on view report, the trust score and the tracking will be shown. And in view response, I can see the response answers. So that's it for this guide. I hope it was helpful. But if you have any questions related to it, then do comment in the comment section below. You can also let us know what more Google Forms features you would like us to create for you. Thank you for watching.